My name is Julia Jones, and I'm a writer covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. You know, the limited medical resources, the mental effects on patients in deep space, that kind of thing. But look, Doctor, I've heard there was some kind of incident in the hospital recently. No one seems to know anything. Doctor, if there's a major public health issue here on Sevastopol, people need to know. I'm freelance. Unbiased. I don't have any corporate affiliations. Um. Let me be a friend to you. Call me. Okay. The vent or some shit. <laughs> The fuck am I doing? The fuck? Ah, oh, you've got to be fucking shitting me. I can hear his ass. It's right there. God damn it! Ugh. If I can just avoid him, I, that's what I'm gonna do. What? What? God damn it. Yep, if I don't fucking die.
question is what Oh. Never mind. Why don't you just continue? Stop looking down. Oh, so we're gonna go into his neck of the woods. Alright. That, that's... That's totally cool. I totally like that. The fact that you die constantly after a while just it does become s scary it becomes repetitive and kind of stupid but um, for the initial first part of the mission you know like whatever mission you're doing um, it's pretty spooky like you at ha you haven't done it before yeah it gets pretty fucking spooky Like that. What the fuck is that? Those just hoses. Those are just hoses. See, like that. You know, you end up kind of fucking spooked. You already know this motherfucker's up here with me. There's a piece missing. I need to fix that. Yes, sir. I would love to fucking say I love you. Telephone. I love you. I love seeing you. Mahoney, 
Thank God. We got jumped. Looters. We're trapped. Elevators out. We don't know where to look. Is he insane? The wants to know if you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. Well. Okay, Francis out. Asshole. Should be fine. Well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. We shouldn't have done that back there. I know we're hungry, but... Let's go this way. Oh, it's them. I'm like, dude. What the fuck? Where the fuck am I going now? Oof. Okay. It's the first time I've seen that. So I'm taking it, we gotta go that way. Okay. Now that this guy is done moving. I'm loving this stun baton. That's for damn sure. Okay, that's not gonna work. Shit. Well, since he's done moving around, I can go on the other side and fucking pop out on that side and then walk around, you know. That'll work. What is the sensor for? Oh, probably noisemaker, maybe? Oh, EMP mine? Probably. Okay, might as well. Uh, I just collected a compound B, I think. Those are very limited, I might say. 
Why the creepy music? You, you don't need the creepy music. You can leave that out. Thank you. This should get me to where I need to be. Am I good? Ah, motherfuckers! I'm good. No. Can I just go up in here? Find a compression cylinder. Do seeking synthetics to find an alternative way back to the transits where you left. What's this way? What's this way? Procedure observation. Fuck it, I'm going upstairs. Russell, here's my spiel for the potential clients today. What do you think? Spending, speeding will hang me out to dry if they don't bite. Okay, uh, welcome gentlemen. Welcome to the buzzing heart of the Sylvester Pool Synthetic Solution. Next up on your tour will be the Size Tech Sphere and the Apollo core itself but first an example of Android self governance yeah because that's what humans need uh, when Apollo synthetics require a little more care than the repair wards can provide they come here we believe this is the first rollout of fully automated automated synthetic to synth or Synthetic to synthetic medical intervention. No human in expertise required. No costly human sur surgical training. All data is streamed directly from Apollo and every incision recorded into in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow, together. Yeah, cool. Sure. I bet. Russell, upstairs want a full rundown on what you've got stacked in component storage there's some useful stuff in there some junk they want value estimates too smith i think that says error 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 okay so there's no reason to be up here Feels good walking around, you know, standing up. 
I could kill you right now. Update the map. Flare. Flare. Lots and lots of flares. It's never a good sign. Report Smith Smith? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, head of synthetic development. I just received schematics for the 120A8. I don't know how much we paid our mole, but the Sigzen board is gonna need to shell out a hell of a lot more. I know this seems old tech for WY, but it's beyond anything we're capable of. Capable of. Our key executives and shareholders won't listen, but we need investment. The company and all its subsidiaries are light years ahead of us. Smythe, I've been looking over your report on the Wayland Utani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite and $8,000 suits. Bottom line is, I gotta look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? Ow. Oh, shit. I should have not ran. Oh, fuck. It was the running they got me. Alright, I think I'm gonna go back downstairs. You guys can pause that. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? We need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sebastopol's work and Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland Utani Cassoffs instead, the job seats and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Spreading out. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, that's not creepy. I will throw fire on this fucking alien. Blow! <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if that's how it'll sound like, but you know what they say. It is a save. 
I'm on the right track. Yes, sir. Do I have to? No, sir. No, I don't think I want to. Thanks, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Sounds great! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Well, that's not safe. Vestipal. Oh, spending now. Spending. Now you fi fired me, you'll have to descend from your inventory tower to pick up the slack. The guys decommissioning Sevastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will be will need logging. So use the requisition Android, power him up. Let him out of his box and watch him go. Just like me, huh? By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillian's bar. I guess you already know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. That sucks. I just got another message from spending, speeding, spending. I don't know about the busted elevator outside the Android exclamation theater. My guys have a got have got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. It's speeding, speeding. I don't know <laughs> wants to be a priority. Then maybe he should stop being a. Petulant, petulant asshole, petulant asshole. There we go. It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need are the are in component storage. Row one, stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the rest requisitions Android. Just get off my back, Chief. Sebastopol's Apollo system, and you totally fucked the Android presentation. But they're not interested. So no bonus for me, no half shit for you, and God only knows what it means for the suits upstairs. That's got me pissed. But you know what's getting me even more pissed? I have to stay on Sebastopol to oversee the synthetic shutdown while you go home. Don't have nightmares on the trip back, jackass.
compression cylinder. Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? That sucks. Duh. Ooh, component B. What the fuck? Get me out of there. So... Okay, I don't get it. So, how would I turn off the alert? Oh, we gotta go upstairs. Or, we can find, to find an alternative way. So there's two ways we can go about it, apparently.
I think I'm pretty good as long as I don't run or anything stupid like that. Um. I'm gonna try going back upstairs again. Instead of having to deal with the fucking Android and electric electricity, stupid shit like that. So. You didn't hear shit, dude. Show my hair. Yes, yes, there is, Mike. Yeah, we've been through all that. And then I ran <laughs> and got my face bitten off. I'm wondering if these motherfuckers have it. Alright, well. This is what I'm gonna call it. I wonder if those guys have the key card, in which case we start shooting each other and the alien comes down. So my best route is probably the Android then. Uh, but this is where I'm gonna end this. Uh, if you watch my videos and you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not or you're just new, hit that subscribe button, that like or dislike, and the bell notification. And we'll see you on the next video.